hello um i haven't made a video in a couple of weeks because i've had uh quite a busy couple of weeks quite a hectic few weeks um my little cat juju uh she's been in the wars bless her and she's had to go to the vets for some surgery uh she got into a fight with some of my other cats and she come off worse off and she got a tooth broken so she had to go and have that removed then i got her spayed at the same time and whilst they were spaying spading her they found she had uh, an ovarian cyst on each ovary so they've removed their ovaries completely but she's making a full recovery if I can get this camera angle right say hello Juju <laughs> she's making a full recovery she's got bowl patches in some places I don't know if you can see she's got a lovely bowl patch on her side there with her wound um, she's got a little bowl patch on one of her leg, front legs where they had to put the drip um, and she's got a bit of a sore mouth but she's happy as ever and been jumping around like a little nutter uh, for the past couple of days and she shouldn't be she should be keeping still because we don't want that wound opening up do we no you're just too cute aren't you yes you're a brave little thing you're a crazy little thing as well but yeah so she's been in the wars so it's kind of like had to be back and forward to the vet with her um but that's enough about little juju as cute as she is um now in another video i talked a couple of other videos i think i talked about the shower that i that the housing office are going to be putting in for me the disabled access shower now I finally got the plans for that um, I have the plans here and I said I would show you the plans once I got them so they're simple little plans but that's what my bathroom kind of looks like now um, so they're going to be ripping all that out and they're going to be doing that so they're kind of moving the sink and they're going to be putting in a wet room shower with uh, handrails, seating, you know, all that, all that type of stuff. So that's going to be really cool. It's going to be a lot easier on me. Also, it's going to be helpful for John as well because he has bad knees and also he's very tall. So it's awkward for him using a bathtub, you know, can't fit all of him in there. <laughs> so but yeah and uh, that's kind of what they've put in there that's the shower and the seat and the handrails and all that sort of thing so yeah and i've been told there's a nine month waiting list which isn't too bad actually because i know of some people who have waited up to 10 years for the housing people to put a shower in for them so nine months isn't too bad and it's not a first come first serve basis with them it's whoever's more needy whoever needs it the most gets there first <clears throat> and i've been told by my ot um that i am quite high on the list so within the next couple of months or the in the next nine months i could have this shower done so that's all really exciting um i can't wait to be honest um but yeah other than that um i've been doing my still doing my physio um last time i went to the gym uh i nearly passed out um because silly me i didn't tell them that I hadn't taken my heart pills because uh, my pharmacy up the road from me where I get my pills 
because I'm the only person in this area that takes these pills, they don't stock them. So, well, they don't stock many of them because they're not highly called for. They only stock what is needed, to be honest. So, um, they managed to give me half of it, you know, half of, because they, well, I get a month's supply. That's what my doctor gives me the prescription for. But the pharmacy only ever has half a month's supply. So I had run out of the heart pills and I hadn't had a chance to go and get them. So when I went to the gym, I was on the bike and my, my blood pressure and heart rate went a bit funny and I nearly passed out. So... The physios were like, no, no more of this. We're not doing this again until you have your heart pills because we don't want you having a heart attack. And I was like, well, if I did, I'm in the right place for it because the um, physio gym is at the hospital. So, you know, <laughs> but yeah, so I still at the moment, I've not got any heart. Well, I just got my heart pills back today. So I'm going to be taking them tonight. Hopefully it'll all be good. But yeah, other than that, not much else has happened, really. Apart from the council doing the electrics, they got all that done and that's all good. And we've got all new plug sockets now. I've got more plug sockets. So now I don't have to trail extension leads when I'm trying to use the steam mop or the hoover. I can just come in the room and plug it in <laughs> so that makes life a lot easier um so yeah not much has happened really other than that i've had a few flare-ups of hip pain and um i had a new symptom actually totally forgot about that uh pin like a weird pins and needles and numbness in the hands and feet it was really weird weird feeling I had that for a day or two and that I believe is a fibro, fibromyalgia symptom so that was a new one it was quite weird so yeah and that's one symptom I hope that I won't get again because it's kind of when you're trying to handle things when you've got pins and needles or numbness in your hands it's quite weird like it's almost like you've lost control of your hands and they've got a mind of their own so yeah as fun as it was for sometimes I don't think I want that again because it was quite awkward and walking on my feet with that was really really weird so but yeah nothing else much has happened so yeah I just thought I'd do this quick little video to update and to show off Juju a little wound you're not licking that are you Juju don't lick the wound come in we don't want to open that up we don't want your guts falling out say hello say bye bye you're brave kitty show off your bulb patch there we go look at that lovely yeah you make yourself look pretty now <laughs> Say bye bye then, Juju. Say bye bye. She's so cute. Right, thanks for watching. See you all later. Bye bye.